What's up guys, Billy Wilson here, and today in this video, we're gonna be covering how to set up the Facebook Business Manager for clients the right way. And even if you don't have any clients, you're just setting this up for yourself, don't worry, this video will still apply to you. But I'm making this video because so many, I see this mistake so many times that people set up their Facebook Business Manager the wrong way, they set up their ad accounts the wrong way, and it eventually causes their ad accounts to get banned, or it causes them to get less results with their Facebook ads, and even on top of that, there's so much confusion around what's the right decisions when making a Facebook business manager, how do I even do it? So I wanna clear up all of that for you in this video. I've been setting up Facebook business manager and ad accounts for over two years with Facebook. So I, I'm gonna go into this every single little detail so you guys have no confusion that's completely eliminated for you. Let's jump right into it because I wanna save you guys as much time as possible. So here's what we're gonna cover. First off, I'm gonna walk you through what the Facebook business manager is and does, and then key terminology you need to understand. And then I'm gonna show you how to set up your business manager the right way, once again, so you eliminate your risk of being banned, or at least, not eliminated, but at least reduce it to the lowest amount possible, and then also set it up in a way that will allow you to gain the most trust with Facebook and get the best results possible. And then we'll cover how to set up your ad accounts, once again, the right way, and then how to set up a client business managers the right way. So you have an, if you have an agency, I will then show you how to set up client business manager and how to link your business manager with other clients and so you can work with uh, other businesses seamlessly. And then finally, throughout this whole video, I'm gonna answer a lot of common questions some of you guys probably have watching this video. For example, who should actually own the ad account um, if you're running ads for clients? So, what is the Facebook Business Manager? Facebook Business Manager allows you to control multiple ad accounts, Facebook pages, and more within one area. The Business Manager also allows additional features like uploading a custom audience. If the bar on your screen is blue, and I'll show you that later, you're on Facebook. If the bar is gray, you're on the business manager. You always want to manage clients' ads within the business manager, never from your personal profile. The reason that is, is because it creates a lot, a lot lower risk of your ad accounts being banned. So you always wanna make sure if you're working on ads, you wanna see that gray bar at the top of the screen, not a blue one. So here is the terminology you need to quickly understand. We already, I already told you guys what the business manager is, um, an ad account in the bottom left there is where you create and run ads from. You'll typically have one ad account per business or client. Um, and then you've got your Facebook profile. This is your regular old Facebook profile. You need to have one in order to do all of this. This should be you, not a business name or anything like that. This is important that your Facebook profile is a person. You should ha not have a fake Facebook profile or anything like that because once again, that will lower your trust with Facebook and get you less results with your ad accounts because Facebook will trust you, you less. So it's very key that your Facebook profile is a real one, it's a real person, has a picture of you, it's not a business. And then finally, you got your Facebook page. And that is basically a business's page on Facebook, typically one Facebook page per business. When you run ads, this page will be shown in the top left of the ad so people can see what business the ad is from. So those are the key terminology points. And this is how the Facebook Business Manager work works. It allows you to combine all of these things under one platform. You can have multiple ad accounts under one business manager, multiple Facebook profiles in case you have a team of people that you want to have access to your accounts and uh, organize permissions. And then you've also got um, under the business manager, multiple Facebook pages and a lot more options than that, which I'll walk you through later. So let's get into how to actually set up your business manager. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to business.facebook.com and select create a business manager, go through the guided creation. So the reason I'm talking fast in this video, I just wanna give you guys a heads up if you're worried that I'm talking too fast. Don't worry, you can slow the video down, change the time speed on the video. I'm just going fast for those guys in the video that wanna go fast. So if you wanna go a little bit slower, feel free to pause the video at any time or play the video at a slower speed. So first step is to go there and create a business manager. I'll show you what this looks like in a second. The second step is to fill out the proper, this is important, proper and most accurate information you have, and you want to keep everything consistent. You wanna keep your address, your location, everything consistent. So if you have a Facebook page and you have a business, um, you're setting up your business manager, you want everything to match because then it will create more trust with Facebook and you'll be less likely to get banned, get better results with your ads because you've got higher trust. Facebook is always really worried about new advertisers coming onto the platform because they're afraid that they are going to not promote good things in their ads. So um, if you do everything legitimately, Facebook will trust you a lot more, you'll get better results. Trust me on that. So I'll walk you through this right now. This is, once you go to business.facebook.com, you'll see a screen like this. If you already have a business manager, you'll see a business manager already here. But if you don't have one, you go to create account here. When you do that, you have to log into Facebook. 
And then from there, it'll make you fill out some information here. All you have to do is fill it out with the correct information. Make sure you pay close attention to this section here where it says business use. And you'll want to say this account primarily uses Facebook ads and tools or data for promote its own goods or services or provide services to other businesses. If you are just setting up a business manager for your own business, you want to choose this one. If you're setting up one for an agency, you want to choose this one. That's pretty key. All right. So here are some important links to help you out in case you have any trouble along the process. Um, and I'll walk you through. Don't worry. We're not done yet with the Facebook business manager part, but you got the Facebook Business Help Center. These links are super hidden, so if you try to find these, they're almost impossible to find you on your own. But if you need help from Facebook support, you can either use one of these first two links, and there should be a place to contact Facebook support. And if you already have a business manager and need to create a second one, you might be confused how to do it. And in order to do that, all you have to do is use this, uh, go to business.facebook.com slash create, and then you can create a second business manager with that link. So let's jump into the Facebook Business Manager so I can walk you guys through it a little bit more. Once you actually create your business manager, like I just showed you, you'll have a screen like this. There won't be ad accounts in here yet, and there probably won't be a page in here. I've already added these because this is a little bit of a demo account that I made for you guys to show you um, what it looks like when you just create one. Ignore these ad accounts though. What you'll have to do, um, so if you want to ever access your client ad account or you want to access your own ad account, this is where you would do it. You go to back to business.facebook.com after you've created your account, and then you'll simply just click on this ad account, and boom, you'll be able to work on your ads. Now, if you want to actually edit things within your business manager account, you'll have to go to the business settings here. And so we'll click on that. And this is where you can see all of the things that's included within your business. So you can see you can have multiple people here. You can have partners, which I will cover later in this video. You can add multiple pages. You can add multiple ad accounts, assets, um, apps, most like most people probably won't use this one. Most people probably won't use this one. You probably will have Instagram accounts if you have an Instagram. Um, you probably won't, most people won't have this line of business for projects thing. You can add a pixel in here, and this just helps like everything just be a lot more seamless and a lot more shareable and just a lot better way of setting up ad accounts because if you set up your pixel without having a business manager, now you can't. If you make a new ad account, now you can't use the same pixel for that ad account. So that's why having a business manager is really, really helpful. And you can also create custom conversions that can be shared between ad accounts and other things like that. Now, if you don't know what those are, don't worry about it too much. This is kind of like higher level stuff, but I um, just wanted to go over kind of the benefits of it. And then you'll notice here, what you wanna do when you actually create this business manager is actually after you create it, you'll want to actually go into this business info section here. I'm not gonna do it now because I might have my personal information, but you wanna go to this business information here and you'll want to fill out every single little detail and make sure it's 100% accurate. Also, you may notice when you have to create a business manager, you may have to put a website in. If you have an agency and you don't have a website yet, you'll either need to create an agency website or you can use your Facebook page uh, link. I would highly recommend doing a website over a Facebook page link just because Facebook will trust you more that way. But if you're in a last ditch uh, scenario where you need to get your business manager set up quickly, then you can just go ahead and create a Facebook page first and then use your Facebook page link as the website for now. But once again, I don't recommend that necessarily. That's only as a last case situation you need to get it set up quickly and, and you don't have a website. So you wanna go through and possibly even add your domain if you have one to um, integrate that. If you're running ads in your domain, you don't have to integrate this if you're not running ads in your domain though, but you'll definitely wanna to go to this business info section and add all of the information there as much as you can possibly do. All right, so next, um, to actually add a page, all you have to do is press add button here. You've got three options. You can create a new page. Most people will probably already have a page and all you have to do is add a page and then all you have to do is follow the directions and it's really that simple to add your page in this business manager here. And then for an ad account, some people might have an ad account, some people might not. Um, we'll actually cover the ad account thing in a second so I'll actually go ahead and jump back in now. So how do you set up ad accounts? All right, so here are tips to setting up ad accounts the right way. When creating an ad account for a client um, or even yourself, um, or you've been getting, given access to their account, go into the settings of the ad account and fill out as much business information as you can, like business name, address, and select all the correct boxes. Once again, we're doing this and filling out all the information to gain, our, gain more trust with Facebook. And always work on ads by going to your business manager at business.facebook.com. Don't access your ad accounts from your personal profile on facebook.com. 
This can reduce the risk of your account being disabled if you travel. In your ad account payment settings, you should always try to take, try to use a credit or debit card or a bank link, not a PayPal account. Um, this is kind of a secret tip. Um, this is because Facebook likely has a preference towards advertisers that don't use PayPal. I also do not recommend setting up an ad account spending limit. Um, you can if you want to, but adding setting up an ad account spending limit kind of limits, um, it kind of shows Facebook that you're not willing to spend very much money. Therefore, they will put less, less preference towards your account. All right, so now we're gonna cover how to set up your client's business manager. Well, actually, we'll jump back in first and then we'll cover that lastly, but just in case you wanna know how you add your ad account, you go to business.facebook.com, click the business settings, and then you add your ad account here. Now, you'll actually want to, once you get here, you can open your ad account, but you will first need to add yourself as a person here. So if you don't add yourself, so you press this add people button, you would add yourself. Um, if you don't add yourself, obviously you can't access the ad account, so make sure you add yourself first or whoever needs to access it. And then you can press this button here that says open an ads manager. Well, I've got a glitch right now, which is of course funny. That's Facebook for you sometimes. But um, you guys, well actually, it's because it's disabled, so let's actually go into this one. That's why that one didn't work. But then what you'll do if you want to fill out the settings, and once again, I won't show this in case I have any personal details in there, but um, you'll go to this little button in the top left, um, and if you want to know how to create ads, I have another video totally on how to create ads that's so called Facebook ads, beginner to expert in one video. And that will show you how to create ads if you're wondering how to do that. So if you have any other questions like how to create a Facebook page, stuff like that, you can watch that video. But we're just covering everything about the business manager in this one. And then there we go, settings right there. And then you'll fill out all of the information as much as you can about the business. And you'll want to do that for your clients as well if you have clients, it just helps gain more trust. So finally, we're on to the last part of this video, trying to make it as quick and seamless as possible for you guys. So how do you set up your client's business manager if you have an agency and you're trying to manage clients? There are two proper ways to access a client's page and ad account. So here's option one, and this is the faster and simpler way. You simply have your business manager, which we pretty much just created for you, and then you would request access to your client's ad account and your client's Facebook page. So how do you do that? Let's jump back to the business manager, go back to the business manager kind of settings page, go there. And so when you're wanting to add your client, all you do is you go here, you would first go to pages, and then you can add your client's page, request access to a page, and then you type their Facebook page name or URL. And then you request access, your client will then get a notification on their Facebook profile, then they will accept it. Um, if they don't get a notification, they will need to go to their page settings, and then they'll go to page roles, and then they will be able to accept your request. And then for ad accounts here. Now, if your client already has an ad account, and you can check if a client has an ad account by going, your client can go to create, and then you can go to add. And then when you click on this, you'll be able to see if they already have an ad account created. Um, because if they don't have anything created, it will ask them to create one here. Um, so either way, you go to this create button, do add, if they already have an account, you can just request access to it. If they don't have an account, it'll probably tell them to create, and they will. it will then tell them to create an ad account, and then they will create one, and then you will request access to it here. Once they've created an ad account, they will get an ID, ad ID, it'll be in the URL. So this one says business ID, so make sure you have one that says ad account ID. But you can see this is an ID right here. Um, and it, when you open the ad account, you'll actually see an ID in the top left as well here. So if I open up this, you can actually see the ad account ID there too, and it says account number here. So any of those numbers, um, they're all the same. Your client can give them to you. So your client will then give you that number, then you'll type it in here or copy paste it, and then you'll request access, then your client will go back to their ad account. They will either get a notification or they can go to the settings They'll go to their um, ad account settings and then they will see your request there and then they can, they can accept you. All right, so let's jump back in. That's pretty much how option one works. And then in most cases, your client probably already has a Facebook page to get access to that. I'll just recap everything I just covered kind of. It's as simple as requesting admin access to their Facebook page in your business manager. I already showed you how to do that. Your client will then uh, your client will have to create an ad account if they don't have one already. In order to do this, they can go to their Facebook homepage and click the create button, then select add. The reason your client should create the ad account and not you is because whoever's going to pay for the ads is supposed to be the person who owns the ad account. 
you may also be limited to a certain number of ad accounts. And this is a key point here, and this kind of answers the question, who's supposed to own the ad account? Your client should own the ad account because Facebook says that whoever is making the payment on the ad account um, should own the ad account. So if you're an agency that's doing the payment for your clients, you can own the ad account. But if you're having your clients pay the ad spend, which is what I personally do and recommend, then your client should be the one that owns the account. All right, so here is option number two, and this is the preferred and really the better way to do it if you wanna do it the right way. The downside, obviously, is that it takes a little bit longer. And this option allows features such as custom audiences. If you don't have a business manager hooked up to an ad account, it will not let you create custom audiences, upload an email list, or create lookalike audiences, stuff like that. So you've got your business manager on the left here, which you've already created. Now, we will also have to create a business manager for your client or see if they already have one. So we, to, in order to create their business manager, we'll just have to repeat the same exact process that we did for yours, except you'll have to do it on their account. And so to connect business managers together, it's pretty much called partnering. And I also recommend them adding you personally as an admin to their business manager. So I showed you how to add people to your business manager. I would recommend having them add you as an admin to their business manager so you can go in and personally make sure everything is right and set up properly in their business manager as well. So what makes this option more difficult is that you have to help your client create a business manager, which, which can take a little bit of more time, but this is the more proper and right way to do it. This can help you gain more trust with Facebook. In order to create a business manager for your client, you should follow the same steps outlined at the beginning of this video. You can walk them through creating it on a video screen share call like Zoom, where you can take control of their screen. Once this is done, you can add your agency's business manager as a partner and add your personal profile as an admin. After you've created their business manager for them, you'll need to add your, their Facebook page to their business manager and create an ad account, uh, create or add an ad account for them inside of their business manager. You'll want to create ads for them from your agency's business manager now that you have access to their newly created ad account. So what would this process look like? First off, you would have, you would screen share with your client, your client would be logged into their ad account, then they would go to business.facebook.com and you would first see if they have a business manager. If it says they don't and they need to create one, you would walk them through creating a business manager just like we created one for you. You would fill out all the proper information, make sure everything's set up right, they put all the right information in and and you add their page in there, you add, create a Facebook ad account, or you add their ad account that they already had, whatever one it is, and that is what you do from there. Now, how do you actually connect the two together? So, now we're in our demo one, which is your, basically like your agency, you then go to partners here, and then you do add, and then you would put your partner's business ID. So, your client will be logged in, they'll be sharing your screen with you, or you'll be next to them, whatever, so their business ID will be in the URL here. Copy that from their business, and then you would put their business ID in here. Then they will, boom, they will get a request or they will have to go back to this business partner thing. Um, so they'll get a no notification here or they'll go to the back to this partners thing and they'll show a request here. And then you will be able, they will be able to have a partner with you. Then you'll need to go back to their business manager, which is why I recommended that they also add you as a person Besides adding them as a partner, you can also just add their ad accounts here the same way that I showed you earlier. Add their page manually, add their ad account manually, and you can partner with them. So you can kind of do all of them if you're kind of a little bit concerned. That's pretty much it. That's for the, it for this video as far as setting up the business manager the right way and setting up ad accounts the right way. I just wanted to say congratulations. You've successfully set up your business manager the right way. A fee less than 1% of Facebook advertisers have achieved. Take this advantage and run with it. And if you like this kind of content, you like uh, running Facebook ads or you're, you want to learn more about running Facebook ads, I welcome you to subscribe to the channel to learn more and see future videos and also check out some of my other videos on Facebook advertising. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.